around the world this is FX Passion broadcasting you live on YouTube happy Friday how is everybody everybody I have a 15 seconds delay on the chat so let's start hello to all hello Max happy Friday Grant a lesson ahead indeed thanks for Possibility for free, enjoy and learn forex secrets. Hello Annie, how are you? Hello Miguel, how are you? <coughs> yes, yes. Everybody, this is Forex Trading Course 101. Remember the three pillars to be successful at Forex Trading. You need to have a strategy or system. You need to have and understand and obey risk management rules and the big one you need to understand how you as a trader how your psychology how your emotions work with risk management and strategy and system we are still in the basic module market structure highs and lows and trends and we are slowly going to move to the beginner hello Eddington how are you Wow, Annie, today every trade was profitable. Congratulations! Remember, everybody, 90% of traders still lose money. I need to put this up here. Still, still lose money. I believe, am I missing a no? And lose money in the forex market worldwide. And risk disclaimer, everybody. The webinars are not investment or trading advice, the webinars are for educational purposes only. Don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose. For homework and questions, you have my Gmail contact if you want to talk. You have my Skype contact and LinkedIn contact for business if you want. That being said, let's check and dive into the live market. Frederick, I have no emotions. Are you sure? Are you sure? Because if you have no emotions, I can frustrate you in a second. <laughs> I'm just joking, Frederick. I know you have no emotions when you trade, and this is okay, this is great. Hello, George. And Max is already pumping <laughs> the volume. <you know? laughs> great, great. <coughs> okay, everybody million dollar question for you what is more important to a general question what is what is more important in in trading stop loss or take profit it's a general question but this is the million dollar question what is more important in trading as a trader when you enter a trade what is more important everybody your stop loss or your strategy or your risk management or the take profit what is more important this is not a million dollar question, this is a zillion dollar question. And it's Friday, so you can be, <coughs> you are going to be angry with me during Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and you can come on Monday again to watch these webinars. You know, you're going to come down during the weekend, you are going to think about what I'm going to tell you today. Maybe you are going to like it, maybe you are going to hate it, you know. You are, maybe you are going to accept, maybe you are going to reject. Wow, Miguel, stop loss, George, stop loss, Frederick, stop loss cause the best of the rest. Wow. Is anybody in here who does not agree with Miguel, George and Frederick? Is anybody here who think, no, well, stop loss, not, nothing, man, take profit is the more important and it's not the stop loss or take profit, it's the strategy is more important and Max said, Eddington says stop, Max says both need to create ratio approximately one part take two, okay 
Is anybody else who wants to sh Victor says strategy? Okay, I'm going to tell you, Max and Victor, you are going to hate me. I can tell you right now. Is anybody in here who thinks that strategy is the most important in trading or profit is the most important in trading or <coughs> uh, risk management is more important in trading? Only when they are on the correct place. Uh, any? You need to decide, my friend. What is more important? Any? You are a good politician, okay, but if you need to decide between strategy, risk management, psychology, take profit, or, or, or a simple stop loss, what is the most important criteria, if you want to use the word criteria, or metric in trading? And then also stop loss. Okay. Everybody who is online and if you are watching this webinar some other day on YouTube or any other channels, maybe you're going to hate me, okay, but I'm telling you, Victor and George and all the rest of the world who is quiet and just listening. I'm telling you, if you don't understand and if you don't learn about the stop loss, you have zero chance, my friends, zero chance of winning this game. You can have trillions of dollars of capital and you can understand risk management and you can be a super robot trader with no emotions and you can have the best strategy in the world and you can know all about the Fibonacci's and take profits and you know, you can have all of this you still have zero chance of succeeding at this game oh passion, <laughs> I hate you this is the reality, everybody if you are going to talk to a professional trader don't take my words, no problem Talk to a professional trader, not the oh his work, oh his work, he's a trading at uh, Saxo Bank, you know, it's for one year. Uh -uh. Take, find out, find a trader who has ten years plus of experience, and he's a professional trader, meaning he is living from the market. Guess what? He is going to tell you exactly the same thing. Stop loss is the most important thing to learn, okay? Because uh, we need to learn what to do, but we also need to learn what not to do, okay? So, again, I don't have the crystal ball, right? And you can hate me, no problem. But I'm telling you, stop loss is. So, I'm going to go with Eddington and. and the others, you know. <clears throat> Frederick, do you live from trading? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I live from trading. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, everybody, as you can see, we have four charts, and this is the lesson from yesterday. We are bringing all together. Now, tell me, everybody, where would you put your stop loss? We are going to open the two hour chart, right? And with no analysis, right? Where would you put your stop loss? Let's say that I'm going to enter, I'm going to enter in five, four different trades. So please tell me, we're going to make a test today, okay? Tell me, do you want to go long and when to, where to put a stop loss or do you want to go short and where to put a stop loss? So, as an example, you could say, well, I want to go short and put a stop loss. Okay, let's undock the two hours. Put a stop loss. Okay, it's just an example. There is no right or wrong. We all get main income from Forex. <laughs> Miguel, not at all. Forgot about statistic here is 5% of lucky man plus lucky woman. And half says both important. Okay, everybody, so you can say, well, 
in the chat box. Sell, I want to go short, okay. This could be the answer, and there is no right or wrong. Short the market and stop loss at 1.1400, okay. So this could be your answer, okay. There is no right or wrong. So if this comes into place, what I'm going to do? I'm going to short the market, okay. Okay, there you go. Entry. Uh, I'm going to sell the market. Okay, and stop loss is going to be at not points price percentage price. So one one four hundred, right? Okay, there you go. Submit orders. Accepted. So there you go. This is just an example. Okay. So today's lesson is stop loss and take profit in market structure, everybody. Where would you put your stop loss? And don't be shy, there is no right or wrong. You can, you can say, oh, I want to buy euro dollar to our chart. I want to short to a dollar, uh, euro dollar to our chart. Okay, where would you put your stop loss? No, no, I'm going to short right now mark the market. Max, can I short right now? Okay, I'm going to delete this one. Thank you, Max. Okay. Can I can I enter right now? Is JForex your regular trading platform? No, sir, it's not. Max, can I short right now? George, thank you, George, my friend. Okay. George want to short the market and stop loss goes at one one two two okay one one two two zero zero maybe okay George is on thank you George I will short my stop loss will be at one one two f oh great so entry sell the market stop loss at what is going to be one one two fifty one one two fifty? Okay, you have Victor's. Thank you, Victor. And Max, can I enter Max? Max, Victor has the same stop losses. Do you? You do. Can I enter? Anybody else? Everybody, who has the courage to say what he thinks? So I have two trades, the first is one, one, two, two, right? So this is, this is, who is this one, one, two, two, is George. Okay, text, this is one is George. George, George, George. George and the 1 to 50 is Victor and Max, right? I'm going to delete this was just an example. And Max and Victor. Max slash Victor. Okay. Anybody else? 1 to 50. Okay. 1, 1, 2, 50 or higher, short, okay, we have the same, 1, 1, 2, 2, sorry, 1, 1, 2, 2, oh, one. okay, thank you, George, I need to correct my stop, I need to move my stop loss, 1, 1, 2, right, 1, 1, 2, submit order, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, Two, two. Okay, more or less. Very good. Thank you. George is here. Thank you, George. Eddington. Do you want to short or go long? Do you want to short? <coughs> Frederick, one, 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 fifty. Frederick, do you want to short? I need the position, short or long, from uh, Frederick and Eddington. One, one, two, two, 
Max, <coughs> we are going to talk just about the stop loss today and everybody else, we are not going to talk about take profit. We want just to stay out of the wave of the market. Eddington short, okay, entry, sell the market, stop loss. And your price is at 1.12. 945 submit. This is Eddington. So Eddington is up in here. There you go. Okay, one more and we are going to stop, okay? I missed what is this about? It's about stop loss, Miguel. The lesson today is about stop loss. And Frederick is going to be the last one. He's going to short the market and stop loss. Frederick stop loss. It's at one 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 fifty. Okay, submit. Thank you, everybody. Submit. So one one one. 51, 1, 150, right? If I mistake, if I made a mistake, please tell me everybody. So Frederick is in here text. Frederick, Frederick, thank you. E, this is our stop, correct? Not our entry. Yes, correct. Those are the stops. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now. <clears throat> Everybody, remember what we are trying to learn here, and we are still in the basic module. What we have learned so far is the a lot of things, right? But one of the things that we learned is that we have structure and we have trends and we have the trading time frame and we have the confirmation time frame okay so if we go check the daily time frame look look everybody and of course those webinars are not investment or trading advice but look everybody where are your stops where are your stops okay what do you think everybody sorry one point one point okay no problem the entry it's not so important uh, everybody we're going to focus and try to understand this lesson okay we are just going to talk where is the best place meaning where your stop loss has the less probability to be hit because you could be thinking well I have only a 20 pip stop loss or I have a 1% stop loss but if you lose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times then you are not you are not going to have a 20 pip stop you are going to have a 200 draw down and stop and if you are risking as a good trader and good student oh i'm risking only one percent of my account okay but if you put your stop loss in the wrong place and the market is going to stop you out 10 times you don't have a stop loss of one percent anymore right you have a 10 percent drawdown and this is why the million, trillion, zillion dollar question is what is more important, right? To learn about the, the stop loss or to learn about, where is the question? Here? Where is the question? I don't remember. I put it here or here. Okay, doesn't matter. So, exit the screen everybody you need to understand how the market moves and where are the levels that are going to tell you that your strategy or your idea or your analysis 
or maybe simply the market didn't follow your plan right many times as traders we are not going to do anything wrong we are going to analyze the market in the correct way we are going to execute a good trade but the market simply is not going to go our way either way rule rule okay rule this is a rule for beginners and professional traders we have one problem though there is no right or wrong okay rule stay out of the wave of the market this is especially for the beginner traders okay and there is no right or wrong everybody i have some friends that are trading differently no problem okay maybe what works for me is not going to work for you but at least you need to understand you can still choose right oh thank you fx passion i'm following your webinars i learned a lot but still i decided consciously to put my stop loss in here in the inside the wave of the market well okay no problem you can as we are saying you can accept what we are teaching you you can reject no problem about that Max is asking how possible to see drawing on another chart what needs to switch on Max I'm just changing here from the daily to the two hour and it's going to appear the same thing just uh, on a bigger scale so I'm changing my charts and my drawing are here if you're asking I don't know maybe this is a question Victor sorry but you said from the heart in the two hour Victor I don't know I don't understand is a is a sentence is a question who is sorry me or you are sorry okay so if I can help you please write again your question or <clears throat> okay everybody so this is the daily chart and Victor maybe you are saying well sorry my friend but you said that we are going to enter from the two hour chart if this is the case if yes if this is the case what time frame everybody is going to control what time frame okay and let's go on the two hour chart right and let's compress the chart and we're going to talk about technical risk again let's wait okay we need to estimate when a possible uptrend hits the down trend line it cannot be immediately yes correct ah you are sorry i'm sorry but you said from the okay now bringing all together everybody this is the two oops this is the two hour chart and we are going to compress the chart and see and try to understand market structure right highs and lows okay remember the trick if you cannot see what is happening on the two hour chart go a time frame higher so i'm going to go on the four hour chart and I want to see everybody if let's say that I put four trades okay and this is my stop loss 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 and now I'm worried right because man you know FX passion is keep telling us that we should stay out of the market wave man so where does all this start for our chart and you are going to go up and okay so this is the starting point and this is going to be the <clears throat> long down trend line right i'm on the four hour chart everybody because i cannot compress the chart and see clearly what is happening okay but because the smaller time frames are a structural part of the bigger time frames it's going to be the same nonetheless so let me see if i can extend this line maybe like this i hope i didn't break any 
candles. No, I didn't break any candles. So this is one trend line, right? Understand, I think you was changed chart. I tried to do and nothing but you use the one chart and you just change time trick. Yes, I don't know what to say to you if your chart isn't working, Max. You are right, I should check that before. Great observation, Victor. So, if this is my downtrend line, what is a trend line? Trend line is a tool that confirms the downtrend, right? Now, number two, I want to see structure, and we learned about structure, structure high, structure low, structure high, structure low, structure high, structure low, structure high. I need to take in consideration the rules about the market wave, that the extension by rule must be bigger or longer than the retracement. So structure low maybe in here let me see okay structure high and let me see if I can continue without breaking any rules structure low structure high structure low there you go <coughs> okay everybody now let's see who is watching the webinars over and over and over again? Technically speaking, all of you and me together, right? All of us, we have a... Not all Eddington is in the best place, okay? Now, the next million dollar question is, everybody, why? Why? Why is Edgington's stop loss in a better place compared to the other stop loss levels? Okay, so this is the question. Why is Eddington stop loss in a better place compared to the other stop loss levels? Okay, and the next could be Eddington could be Eddington's stop stop loss be improved, meaning decrease the technical risk what is the technical risk the technical risk is the market to stop you out Miguel says technical stop loss would be just above the downtrend line yes thank you Miguel everybody Miguel answered the first question if you have any other ideas please share in the chat so the question is why is Eddington stop loss in a better place compared to the other stop loss levels? What do you think? There is no right or wrong. Victor, we are not talking about the Fibonacci, it's just focus on the market structure and try to focus on the long term downtrend line on the two hour chart okay and as you said everybody I need to go on the two hours right this is the two hour chart okay so still the same questions why is Eddington stop loss everybody what do you think which one has the best probability not of being hit and the second question is why don't start don't even think about trading everybody if you cannot answer these questions you could be watching this webinars okay and be quiet I'm telling you if you don't understand the answer to these questions don't even start thinking about trading especially with real money you need to understand this before anything else. 
Maxes because Eddie can stop loss is day one. Dick is down to rain line above. Yes, sir. Congratulations, Max. This is the answer. George says it depends on the time when the uptrend hits the trend line. Eddington risks too much. No, sir, George. No. No. The distance doesn't equal the risk, everybody. Okay, we are not learning about risk management, but risk management, management concept concept distance distance between between I hope my English is correct between entry and stop loss doesn't George doesn't equal risk no sir no uh uh and I think Tony if you are would be so kind and explain to George why the distance between entry and stop loss doesn't equal risk. Everybody, especially if you're a beginner trader, if you think that Eddington is risking more than the others, the answer is no, not necessarily. Not necessarily, George. <clears throat> Max Victor seems okay. Mine is a little optimistic. I assume a slow uptrend. The stop loss could be a little bit lower. Okay, so we are have different answers for a different question. So everybody, <coughs> why is Eddington stop loss in a better place compared to the other stop loss? Well, you need to know this. If you don't know this, those answers, everybody, and it goes to all time frames. This is the downtrend. It doesn't matter, it could be a short term downtrend, part of a structure, or it could be a, a simple downtrend. And we are here right now, okay, there you go. Don't trade everybody, don't even think of trading if you don't know the answer to the questions. And the question is, if the down trend is to continue market wave what the market will not do if you don't know the answer to this question and you have the knowledge if you have watched and studied the webinars you should be able to answer this question. If the downturn is to continue, meaning if the market is continue to wave and continue making lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, right? And we learned about the relevant highs and lows and we learned about structure, right? What the market will not do. The, and the, I'm going to give you a little bit of help. You have the answer is composed with two answers. <coughs> and Eddington is, is uh, answering to you, George. It depends on lot size. So it's not the distance that makes the risk, it's the lot size. Thank you, Eddington. If that stop is hit, the trend is changed. Yes, any congratulations. Rakesh, of course, it will not break recent high. Okay, thank you, Rakesh. And yes, sir. Okay, everybody. If the downtrend is to continue, market wave, the market will not, number one, maybe it can break the downtrend line. And sometimes the market does this, is going to break the downtrend line but it's going to continue to fall, it's just switch channels. So, but this is the answer number one, and the an uh, as Miguel said, but answer number two, the market must not break the relevant or structural high. Those this is the answer everybody if you were if you are not able to answer this please don't consider trading yet 
go to go. passion man but I watched already your webinars three times it doesn't matter my friend if you are not able if you are not able to answer this question don't think about I mean you can always demo trade of course but I'm not your father you know I don't know what you're doing the rest of the day if somebody is trading with real money you know oh I'm just going to put a hundred dollars or uh, euros I'm telling you you are going to lose you are going to lose everybody even the professional traders are losing why sh why do you think that you are going to win at this game you know buy a book or pay your spouse or a boyfriend a dinner okay don't put the money into the market yet I'm telling you okay so this is the reason now technically speaking right so this is why Eddington stop loss everybody it's in a better place but still question number two could be Eddington stop loss be improved meaning decrease the technical risk George is asking is it okay if I set the stop loss a little above the trend line and move it down every day in order to keep the same direction absolutely yes George there is a video called about and there is a technique called about cancel and replace the stop loss and the answer is yes George absolutely yes it would be much 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 better of course you need to adjust your risk okay you need to adjust your risk everybody and I'm going to take Frederick's example for example if you are risking here 5% is just an example okay if you're risking 5% of your account it's just an example I'm not talking that Frederick is doing this and now you learn that you, your stop loss is in a risky place technical risk increased and you said well I'm going to take this same trade and I move my stop loss up in here man you would be risking 5 10 15 20 percent and we don't have the crystal ball bam the market can stop you out so before adjusting your stop loss level everybody you need to adjust your risk if you are in here and you are risking 5% and you are trading with real money even though I'm telling you not to do this close your trade don't even think just close it and oh man but I'm going to lose better a small loss in a stupid place than a bigger loss everybody passion. <laughs> passion I hate you I told you that today is one of those days that we are going to have a reality check with you everybody but as we are saying you can reject what we are teaching you you can find and it's okay another trader professional trader right ask him no problem Frederick what is the reason that you do not use JForex man I I would not be correct to do a copy if I'm telling you okay but I can tell you one technical stuff JForex is uh, missing data on the monthly charts this would be one reason okay but the other they are paying me so I cannot say oh I like this I but there is no there is no perfect platform Frederick okay but I can tell you one thing JForex is USD JPY this this is I can show you because I'm talking to the Dukascopy three years already you are missing data you are missing data and they don't do nothing so on the monthly chart this is okay the lower band but the upper band I don't remember the number Frederick but I think it's up in here somewhere and if you don't understand how the forex market works you could be easily shorting the market and think that the market hit the upper band on the monthly which it didn't okay this is one reason 
the others I can tell you in a private email if you want but on the other side there is no perfect platform it doesn't exist you know oh there is trading view uh, and ninja trader and saxo trader pro and uh, what else smart trader okay those are all different names but oh th what is the best well there is no one best platform there is no one best charting software okay you are going to use different platforms and different softwares for different purposes this would be the complete answer for you frederick max answer simple most of broker use no come on man everybody don't analyze the charts on MT platforms it's a mess it's a catastrophe okay in my opinion of course so somebody from the MT oh let's sue FX special no MT platforms MT4 MT5 they are okay for trading but they are a mess for technical analysis you cannot do anything you cannot even move the chart like this on MT4 I hope you know that everybody Michael how are you my friend what should stop loss be within 5% no sir half percent half percent there is no right or wrong there is no written rule about that right uh, retail traders decide what they want but I'm telling you professional traders are risking half percent not all of them of course there are also exceptions to the rules but they are risking half percent the money managers and if the market is going to go their way they are building up their positions okay but you can risk half percent one percent two percent max michael in my opinion frederick thanks i might be come back to you okay no problem for a mac user j forex and trade interceptor are the best choice thank you miguel see frederick you have different there are also platforms that i don't know about why not reading my chart ah my chat sorry rakesh better you place a sell trade near the resistance to keep your risk to bear a minimum okay if you are talking about technical risk okay so let's go back to the original questions everybody could be adding to stop loss loss be improved meaning decrease the technical risk the answer is yes compared to the others adding to stop loss is above the long term downtrend line so if the market is to continue its downtrend the market shouldn't break the long term downtrend line but to improve the to decrease to decrease the technical risk of Eddington stop loss Eddington should move and everybody else should move your stop loss above 15 pips or 500 pipettes above the structural high this would be the answer everybody okay up in here this is the safest place to put a stop loss sorry Rakesh I hope I I read your chat okay as you are saying better to put your stop loss above the structure right or the relevant high you can call it as you want no problem okay so the best place to put your stop loss is to put it up in here okay <clears throat> why is that well because if the market is going to stop you out did you do anything wrong in here right did you do anything wrong if you put your stop loss above the structural high and the market reversed and stop you out did you do anything wrong what do you think everybody do you think anything wrong 
you can say yes, you can say no, you can say I don't know. I'm telling you again everybody, especially if you're a beginner trader, if you don't understand market structure, Eurocat as an example, daily chart, just an example. And we are bringing all together from yesterday. If you don't understand everybody, market structure and short term trends inside market structure. And if you don't understand the market wave, right? Go watch again the webinars over and over and do the homeworks. You cannot learn other way. See? I know some of you, you are shorting the market. Bad place to short the market on Eurocad. Okay? Bad place to short the market in here. Okay? Bad place and also bad time. Bad timing, my friends. Okay? <clears throat> so the best place would be up in here. Why is that? Well, Miguel says, no, Michael Conte, yes, loss. Yes, it's a loss, but as a trader, did you do anything wrong? The answer is no, right? You need to be 700 pips before reverse your deal to buy. Are you trading manually or using automatic system or both? Just manually, Frederick. I have some tools that are giving me alarms, but I don't use any systems or <coughs> God forsake robots, okay? Better is straight from the trend line down, short structure. Yes, Annie, you are correct. George says, is it okay if invert instead of stopping the trade? If the market goes higher than the previous height means that the trend is... Yes, sir, correct. So, if I put my stop loss in here and the market stopped me out, this loss, it's a okay loss. Because the market didn't follow my plan and the market broke the downtrend line and the market made a structural higher high meaning we are at a 75 percent and we learned how to measure right we are at uh, sorry not 75 we are still at 50 percent but as soon as the market start to trend down like this we are at 75 percent up structure and if the market hits you and stops you out in here it's okay it's a part of a trader's job. No problem. Now, <clears throat> it's Friday, right? And you already hate me. It's now that you know this, everybody. If you put your stop loss, technically speaking, please, too tight. And you have the chance to put your stop loss in a safer place. Of course, you need to know how to properly draw and understand the levels of the structure and the trends and the relevant highs and lows this would be a stupid way to lose pips and money everybody come on do we agree on that i mean of course it's your choice right so okay passion i agree with you but i'm consciously taking my stop loss and consciously taking my risk inside the market way well okay no problem there is no right or wrong right nobody is perfect there is no 100% trade there is no 100% trader and Rakesh let's see to use automatic system it should be a great mathematic and programmers and trade we can we can have a debate about systems and robots everybody no market is market my stop loss is hit i'm happy not a problem yes short the stock sort stop the stock with risk tolerance by michael i don't understand your vocabulary my friend what are trying to say to us okay everybody <clears throat> I'm some of you are sending me questions a lot and Eddington I'm going to ask you for your confirmation a lot of your questions are based on 
stock trading stocks are a different animal everybody or the forex market is a different kind of animal the concepts and the rules that work and the risk and the fundamentals and everything that work in the stock market most likely will not and are not going to work in the forex market Eddington please confirm or add anything to what I just said and if there is somebody else who were in stocks and now he's in forex if you can confirm or say otherwise please everybody I'm talking to you because you are telling me you are sending me email oh what about this what about that you know day trading is one of them day trading and the forex market uh -uh, they are not friends okay the forex market is 24 hours it doesn't close during Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday okay thank you Eddington thank you my friend stocks are completely different everybody so if you want to try to make money as a semi-professional professional whatever please try to understand open your mind and start to accept that the forex market works differently it's a different game Miguel says I trade indexes and it's a different ball game thank you Miguel also indexes so you need to understand this everybody okay from this webinar on everybody if you understood the concept if you understood the concept if you didn't no problem go watch watch these webinars over and over but if you understood these concepts okay uh, I don't know where it is. If you understand this comment, stay out of the market wave. If you want to increase everybody your probability of winning, stay out of the market wave. But in order to do this, you need to understand and learn how to properly draw structure, how to properly draw trend lines, how to properly identify short-term trends inside the market structure you know you need to do this before everything else if you don't know this you are going to lose and you are going oh passion help me and help me and help me as well did you lose yes I did well why did you lose you need to learn this everybody Michael Forex market currency Sure, the stop the stop. Michael, I'm sorry, my friend, I still don't understand. If you're asking what am I trading, the answer is yes, I'm trading just the forex market. Eddington, you have 350 currencies to trade in forex in the entire world. You have tens of thousands of companies just within one economy to trade. Fundamentals do not work the same in the two markets. Amen, my friend. <clears throat> Amen. Okay, everybody. No homeworks from. Uh, no homeworks for today. Okay, let's go relax. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we're going to be. You are getting really energetic. We are energetic. Yes, sir. Absolutely. We play golf and we swim and we train martial arts kickboxing taekwondo you know we are energetic we do all of this stuff so i hope you too <laughs> okay everybody <clears throat> i'm not going to say to you stay strong and trade with passion because it's friday so stay strong adjust your stop loss levels i'm not talking about the risk adjust your stop loss levels technically speaking and see you back on Monday. Most of drugs mafia live in Brazil. Not true. Mafia is in Italy, Max. Not true. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> okay, everybody. 
go relax, enjoy your weekend and see you back on Monday. This is F Expression signing off.